Well, good evening. I'm Evie Allen. And I'm Mark Kiesling. The Marion community is rallying around the family of an 11-year-old girl who was killed this past weekend. The organizers of the candlelight vigil hope they can shine a light during a dark time for those who knew Jade Beasley. News 3's Joe Rahana joins us live from Marion with more on the memorial. Mark and Evie, family friend Cassie Gossett was devastated when she heard that Jade had lost her life. Authorities say that she was stabbed to death by Julia Beverly, a longtime living girlfriend of the victim's father. Now Gossett is organizing a candlelight vigil for Saturday. She says she grew up with Jade's mother and her own daughter went to school with Jade. She says the community needs to come together. In this time of need, she hopes that by coming together in solidarity for the family, it is important for everyone to heal from this tragedy. Those that knew Jade are sharing pictures and stories of her life, and they hope that will continue Saturday night in the, at the Williamson County Fairgrounds. I really think that something like this needs to happen because um, I know there's children, my, my children especially, who went to school with her. I think it'd be help with closure, you know, just to remember her, who she was, the, you know, the fun, sassy, sweet girl she was. The public vigil is taking place at 6.30 Saturday at the Williamson County Fairground on Fair Street. Everyone is expected to wear a mask and social distance. Meanwhile, Beverly is expected to make a court appearance in Williamson County tomorrow. Reporting live in, Williams in Marion, Joe Rahana, News 3.